All right, if you're thinking about some spring fix-up projects, either inside the house or outside the house, it, they can be noisy. Right, right. Yeah. Speaking of noisy, I think we've got a leaf blower around here somewhere. <laughs> So 113. That, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now, anything over 85 decibels can damage your hearing. Uh -huh. So if it reaches 85 decibels and you're in that, um, around that noise, if it reaches two hours, you're going to have permanent damage. So yeah. even that low. So imagine this, if you're going around the yard doing yeah, this it usually without takes protection. usually 20 minutes. You're oh, usually yeah. outside, yeah. if not longer yeah, with yeah. that. So we've got Dr. Rebecca Brashears <laughs> here. And I love this app that you just yes. pull up because you can test how loud some of our tools, whether they're gardening tools, yard mm -hmm. tools, working around the house. Let me yeah, see what this one yeah. is. Let's try this. All right. Maybe. I may just not be doing it right. How about this That's one? Okay. We'll get we might need our assistant Tim back here in a little bit. There we go. All right. And it's, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Up in the 90s. This so, doesn't seem as loud, obviously, as yeah. the leaf blower, but anything you're using close to your ears. Exactly. I mean, any, remember, anything over 85 decibels, it depends how long you're in that environment. Mm -hmm. If it reaches 95 decibels, you're only safe for 50 minutes, mm -hmm. even with hearing protection. So you need to really kind of double up and protect your ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess that can cause a lot of issues if you're not. You're just going out there, oh, it's just a quick job. I, I need to blow the leaves off, blow oh, the yeah. grass after I've mowed. Many people think that oh it's uh -huh. really quick we don't need to worry about protecting our ears but the problem is when it's a noise induced hearing loss mm -hmm. it's permanent we can't bring that hearing back mm -hmm. and so definitely do as much as you can to protect yourself um, starting early in life I mean younger okay. people older people everybody okay yeah. and yeah. also is it, is it too late let's say you <laughs> you're already <laughs> maybe in the senior or middle-aged or senior age and you're, you've never protected your ears it's never too late because okay. even if you already have a hearing loss what we want to do is prevent that hearing loss from getting worse. Okay. So by protecting your ears, you're still going to hopefully save yourself trouble down the road of that hearing loss getting worse quicker by being exposed to these noises. Okay. So do you yeah. want to try another one here? Go for it. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this to turn on. We might need one of our assistants to stop by. This one's not mm -hmm. coming on. Let's um, see. Uh, let's, how about this guy? You want to do this one? I'll do this one here. And we'll see. Uh -huh. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I don't use this type of equipment. <laughs> All right, go for it. Oh my gosh, that's loud. Wow. What did that one? Mm -hmm. Is it about that about it reached what the 100? Yeah, about the same thing. Mm -hmm. And um, at home, we measured our ATV and we also measured our riding mower, mm -hmm. and both of those were over 110 decibels. Oh, and people don't think about that too. Mm -hmm. You know, activities outside, you really need to be protecting your ears. Right. So I was really, I knew it's loud, but I was surprised how loud they got when we were just standing there. Exactly. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I see you brought some different uh, yeah. protection devices in. What do you recommend? Um, so these are the custom ones. So if you're someone that's around a lot of noise a lot, okay. what we do is take impressions of the ears mm -hmm. and then we send them off to be made into a specific product. It only okay. fits your ears and what it does is going to filter out um, any of the, the noise basically mm -hmm. and then when you need to actually hear sound, it lets you. Okay. So these are, it's kind of a smart technology. Right. Okay. Of course, you can get headphones And I see these a lot when people mm -hmm. are out doing yard work or maybe yeah. yard uh, companies that are coming, you know, to do some yeah, work. Yeah, and you just need to make sure they're made with the right materials so that okay. way they are going to try to dampen that sound. Mm -hmm. I even recommend wearing something as something simple under, and inexpensive as yeah. that. Yeah, and you can double up. So remember I said when some of those sounds get really, really loud, put these in, put these over that way, even if you don't get them in all the way, you're mm -hmm. safe. Great. So yeah. So yeah. let's remind everybody how to get in touch with you. If maybe yeah. they've been out doing a lot of yard work and they're having right. trouble hearing and they need to come yeah. in for a check. Well, give me a call at 304-948-5565. I'm here in Huntington on the corner of 6th Avenue and 9th Street. Great. I, I love this. It's going to be fun. <laughs> but we got to have protection in. Dr. Bashir, is great talking Thank with you us. Thank you, Fabi.